Bill's been doing this a long time. I've known Bill for, gosh, I think you've been with Aquascape for 20 years, 20 years yeah. right? It's been a long time. Before you had gray hair. Before I had gray hair, he <laughs> noticed it. Bill didn't have gray hair when I met him either. <laughs> you build ponds long enough, you're gonna get a few of those. <laughs> Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. It is day three on our sunny San Diego project. And standing behind me is Bill Goss. Hey guys. Hey everybody. <laughs> guys like this are what actually make this job happen. We can't do these types of projects without our CAC network. And the CAC are our certified Aquascape contractors. Bill is the actual point person on this project and brought all of our product. You can see the lights and everything else. Without Bill, literally this would not happen. It's so funny because as soon as Bill got here, I said, Bill, do you normally dig in these type of conditions like this? And he said, yeah, all the time. And for us coming from Chicago, we never ever see this. So it's funny how comfortable he was with the digging conditions. And for us, it was just like, how do you possibly build ponds in San Diego all the time? It's a constant beat and break job. <laughs> it's funny. So today's goal is a little different. We ran out of rock yesterday. So so all the boulders that you see put in here were uh, spoken for and we used in the pond. So today the goal is to kind of do some um, plumbing, finish up these walls and uh, get our jets in. And so you can see Chris and Ralph here backfilling the wall. We have another wall we're gonna build over in here. So this wall continues then past these boulders and we'll go back into this cove where we've got jets and lights. We also have to drill out some more brick in here to receive some lights coming out of there. So today's just gonna be more of a detail type day. And then tomorrow we get two more truckloads of boulders and uh, we should be able to finish up the pond and then start on that waterfall that we've been talking about for the last two days. Hey, enough of the jibber jabber. This isn't gonna fly itself over there. So that is a wrap for day three. We made an incredible amount of progress today. Brian, why don't you just give us a rundown of where we started today and now where we're finishing. Well, Sunday, you know, uh, we knew it was gonna be a shorter day, but we didn't have all the boulders and everything else we wanted to to keep rocking with the waterfalls and the rest of the pond. So we put all of our attention on finishing this wall. Mm -hmm. I just love it. So we got these lights carved in. We own a couple spots. We did an awesome job cutting that. We finished up that section where we brought the rock up to the boulder. Yep. And then if we come over here, we did this whole wall. So this whole wall is done. Same thing, we got some lights set in here on the wall. Yep. And then most important in this cove, um, and it's really important that we did this, we put in some jets. So these are all hooked up to a two inch line that runs behind this wall mm -hmm. and then teed off to a three quarter inch line here. When we do that, we get more of that uh, fire hydrant type pressure mm -hmm. coming out of here. Picture your thumb like over a garden hose. So that water will just blast from here and here and push all that water. If we didn't put jets in this area, this would be a huge dead spot. And we just wanna make sure we circulate all that water. We actually got a lot done. Yeah. And I'm loving the way this is gonna look. So if you guys can picture this, water level comes within an inch to the top of this, and then that patio will come right over the top, bringing our patio within an inch of the water level, which will look so fantastic. That's gonna look awesome. Day three, I think we're right on schedule where we need to be. Tomorrow, we've got some more team members meeting us out here. Mm -hmm. We got Demicho and Juan coming uh, from Team Aquascape, and most importantly, some boulders. So tomorrow's a big day and the rest of the week. We'll see you then. It's day four, and we're starting the day at a much different spot. Instead of at the job site, we're actually at the stone yard. And I'm here with Jack from Atlantis. And uh, Jack, tell them a little bit about what we're doing. We need some boulders that are gonna be fitting for that waterfall we've gotta create. We need some tall stuff. The problem is we ran through all our rock in the first delivery. Now we've gotta come here and pick out the ones that we need specifically for that waterfall on the other side of the pond. It's funny, because when we first came here, we drove up to it, both of us were concerned, because when we say specific rocks for a specific part of the project, it's really that waterfall that we We've been joking around that we've been trying to build. I feel like if they come in and scoop over here, we're probably gonna get what we need because we've got a lot of big ones. They're using giant loaders to load these things. Usually back home, we've got excavators that can pick rock by rock. Here, we're just getting what we get. So if we can get these guys to pick up on this side, I think we're gonna get what we need. That's awesome. Well, it was definitely worth the drive over here. It's just important for us to see the next load that was coming. We want some of these bigger ones over here. We don't want a whole lot of that stuff. We need some of it for filler, but it's not gonna allow us to build the waterfall that both of us are visualizing. Big hump day today, getting stuff done. See you back at the job site. Yeah. Eh? Eh? 
picked out this morning, relatively right where we wanted them. <laughs> yeah, these are some nice ones. Like this one, 100% can be used as a frame rock. We'll stand that one up. I love this chunky one over here. This will keep us busy today. And there's another load coming. Today's hump day. Let's go get them. So, so awesome to have the other two members from Team Aquascape here. We got Micho and Juan. They're working diligently on getting a base set for this wall over here. What we're gonna do is we're loving the way that this wall looks so much that we're actually gonna continue it back in through here. And the main reason we're doing that is just behind Micho is a small little intimate seating area. And so we need something to retain the elevation of that based off of the foundation of that house there. So hopefully by the end of the day, we have a stair built into here that takes us up to that elevation and then this wall kind of done which I just love the formal look of this wall the cleanness of it matching with the boulders Chris and Ralph over here just kind of cleaning up the back corner where our intake bay is going and then we've got this area to get done you can see Jack kind of getting the elevation set for our wetland filter over there he needs to get all of that cleaned up and the main reason we want to get the boulders in here is he's moving back and forth back and forth into this area we need the boulders to help stabilize the soil back in there so he's getting he's creating kind of a pathway to come around here so we can set some of these other rocks and then we'll build the waterfall from over here so a lot happening today can't wait to show you guys the progress but coming along show you guys something that we are working on one of the main hubs for a bunch of the lighting cables so we've got this half inch funny pipe or swing pipe that we have our cable ran through so that in the event that we ever have to service these lights we can easily slide the light out from inside the pond pulling this cable out and through so we've got this irrigation valve box that wands drilling holes into so all these uh, pieces of pipe will end up coming into the center of this irrigation box and then our main hub and our supply line will also come in there and then everything will be tied together so it'll be really Really easy if we ever have to monkey with any of these lights to service them good stuff so believe it or not we are finally prepping to get ready for the waterfall and I think it's so funny I can't help but laugh about it a little bit because we went over all these reasons on why we needed to get this part done first the waterfall berm that I'm standing on right now it's day four and we're just prepping to get ready for it now the plan is to get part of this done today maybe get a couple of these frame rocks set in here and then finish it up tomorrow either way I'm super super happy with our progress I think it's just turning out amazing. We've got some new things that we're changing. And I think that's what's fun about the design of all this stuff. We're building ponds in general. You kind of have a plan and it gives you more of a guideline on, on where you want to work. But it's always evolving. We're always changing. So we have this section of wall that's coming in right here. We need an elevation to hold back the patio that sits back at the base of the tea house over here. So this wall is going to come up, hold back that base. More importantly, it's got to come curve around and then blend into a stair that takes us up to this patio here. We've got this whole waterfall done. Got some water that's gonna come out over this rock. Can't really see the frame rock here or the frame rock there. There's even another waterfall back behind it. That's gonna set our elevation for the bog filter that we'll dig out later. Jack's working on a road to get us back into the area where our big tall waterfall is gonna go over in here. Hopefully, we set a couple of the frame rocks today on that waterfall. Next time you'll see me when we get some stuff done over there. Okay, so as you can tell, I have my backpack on. So that means that day four is a wrap. So we are out of here. We're gonna hit it hard again tomorrow. We're gonna make some really great progress. Brian supposedly is gonna start working on the waterfall that they said they were going to on day one. I would love to say it's impossible not to, but I don't see what else we can do but work on the waterfall tomorrow. Yeah, waterfall tomorrow. Good. Hey guys, welcome back. It is day five out here in sunny San Diego. And believe it or not, we are actually going to start on the waterfall. The only thing that's holding us up are boulders. We are out of rock. We have about three large boulders over there we can play with, which won't build the whole waterfall. And everything out in our pile out in the street is smaller stuff. Right now, until rock gets here, we'll work on this retaining wall. We've got to retain all of this soil back in here and then hopefully get to the point where that retaining wall can then dive into the 
waterfall, which is right where I'm standing. We can pluck a couple of these bigger guys out and use it, but uh, other than that, we're gonna have to start working on some edges. We've got uh, Juan and Micho finishing off the caps. Really, waterfalls and edges is all we can do today. Come join us. <laughs> Okay, so supposedly the rocks are on their way. Keep our fingers crossed, because that's really gonna change the entire day. If they don't show up, we're in big trouble. So I heard that famous sound of all the boulders coming out here and for us pond guys, it's kind of like Christmas when the boulders show up. You don't know exactly what you're getting, but this is exactly what we're looking for. The girth and the, and the length of some of these guys is gonna be perfect for building waterfalls. Like I see this big long guy, that could frame out a waterfall really easy. I look at this guy over here with this nice flat top. It might get used for a waterfall someplace, maybe this one too. We have the selection, now we can start building that waterfall. 